challenge with Miss Halliday. Hi everyone, it's Miss Halliday. Today our art challenge is going to be to draw a self-portrait, which is a picture of you, or just a portrait, which is a picture of a person. So you decide who you're going to be drawing. And you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and paper. So I'm going to be using a marker so you can see better. And I'm using my sketchbook and I have it up on my easel. But it will be better if you just um, use yours um, flat with your paper rather than upright. So we are gonna start with making a head, which is gonna be an oval. And you can decide whether you want a full body portrait or you just want a head and shoulders one. I'm just gonna go with head and shoulders. So I'm gonna create the oval head. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if it's not quite how you want, just erase and try again. And then I'm going to add the neck. Make sure to make it thick enough. It's not too long. And then I'm going to create the shoulders coming out. The shoulders come out a bit further than we would think. So you can look at other people's shoulders. Or you can look down at your shoulders to see how far they come out. And I'm going to have it come and curve down for the arms, you can have them bend a little bit, or you can have them go straight down. Then we're going to add the shirt. So if you want to be wearing a t-shirt, you can make the lines here, or it can be long sleeve or a hoodie, however you want. And for the neckline of the shirt, you can do scoops, you can do V, however you'd like. So I'm going to create two scooped lines. And then you can draw a picture on your shirt if you want um, something related to a hobby that you like or a certain logo that you like. Or if it's a person that you're drawing, you can look at what they're wearing and try to copy it. So I'm going to make flower here. Alright, so there's my flower. Then I'm going to go back to the face and I find it best to start with the hair first. So for my hair, I have a curve like this and like this and my hair is longer and it comes down and it's kind of in layers. So I'm going to make it like that. If I were to be using a pencil, I'd erase the shoulders being shown through here, but since I have a marker, I can't really erase. Add some lines like that. And now I'm going to show a bunch of different hairstyles because I know not everyone has my hairstyle. So I'm going to make several different ovals. So I'm going to start up here um, with the sideburns, which would come over and up, and then a curve and over and down. Then I'm going to add a few lines like that, if your hairstyle looks like that. Another one would be, let's say my hair is a little bit curly, a little bit wavy and it comes up a little bit more like that. And the last one, if your hair was receding, going back a little bit further, 
it would look more like this. And for this one, I'm going to do um, pigtails. This, I'm making a circle and then having the hair come out like that. The next one, if your hair was curly or wavy, And depending on the length of it, you just bring the hair down. If it's shorter, bring it up. If it's longer, just bring it down. And here I'm gonna do braids coming out into different sections. If you have beads, or if you have anything, any um, hair designs, bows or anything, you can add those in. So let's say these were braids. I could add X's to make it look like braids. And if there's beads, you could make little circles like that to show beads. Down here, I'm going to do, say your hair's parted to the side. And it's really long shape kind of like this and here if your hair is crimped if you had it up like that and for the last one I'm gonna do if you have a ponytail or a braid kind of come around like that shape and you can add the X's if you're trying to show a braid. So there's a bunch of different hairstyles and do your best to create the hairstyle that you're looking for and try to make it as a shape, not just single lines. Okay, so after the hair, we can put in the eyebrows. So you're gonna leave room for your forehead and then underneath you're gonna make the shape for your eyebrows. And then your eyes, some of us has, have wider eyes, um, some are more circular, some are more slanted. So be looking specifically at your eyes and I'm doing a curve, curve shape, and then another curve, curve shape. And inside, I'm gonna do another curve, curve, and a circle where the pupil would be. So curve, curve, circle. Right on the middle part of the eye, you can add a little line where the tear ducts would be. And you can add eyelashes. I like to do just one, two, three on the end. And then a line above your eye for the eyelid. Something neat is if you go and do an imaginary line from the top of the eye over, you'll get basically where your ear would start and you curve up and down, and then you can put a C, backwards C shape. So top of the eye, over, come up, down, and then the C shapes. If you have earrings, you can add those, and if there's something you wanted to add in your hair, a bow or a brat, you can add that too. So I'm gonna put some earrings. And then next, we're gonna move on to the nose. Move down a bit. There, um, our noses can be thinner or wider, so we really wanna look at the, the nose, your nose, or the person you're trying to draw. And I'm starting out with a curve, curve shape. Then I'm gonna add two flat lines and a little curve in the middle. And then I'm adding 
two lines up here to try to look like the nose is pushing forward and a line going straight up. If you'd like to add another line on the other side, you can, but I like to make mine with just the one line. Under the eyes, we're gonna add a little line like this just to make it more realistic because we have a little bit of a dip there. And underneath the nose, there's two little lines before your mouth. And then for the mouth, I'm just going to create a closed mouth. You can add teeth if you like. And I'm going to go up, down, up, down, and around. And then I'm going to create the line in the middle. And I'm going to look a little happier by bringing my edges up. That can add with it. Then, then we have our face. You can also add little lines, smile lines like this if you'd like. And you have all the background to create something that you really love. So if you're doing a self-portrait and you wanna show that you love basketball or that you love music or reading, you can put that in the background. If you're doing a picture of a person, you can ask them what they'd like to have for their background. I'm going to make a picture over here and I'm gonna have it cropped so it's going off the page. It's gonna be in a frame. And this part's gonna be a circle, but you only see part of it. And then it's gonna have some lines coming out. I'm also gonna put a line here and I'm going to add over here, like there's a little stand um, with some flowers. So I'm going to make a vase. So I have some flowers over there. So this is a great activity that you can do with your family. And you could all be trying to make a self-portrait or be drawing each other and be a really fun family activity. I hope that you enjoyed learning how to make a self-portrait or a portrait. And when you're at this step, you can decide, do you want to add color? You could do colored pencils. You could do crayons or markers or even watercolor or paint. If you like it in just pencil, you can leave it that way too. So I hope you enjoyed tuning in and until next time, bye.